Uh, let me make it to 180 degrees here. Panorama. Sandham after OF offshore race, also called Got around Gotland race, year 2019. As usual, plenty of stuff to dry. It was a very hard wind, uh, big waves race. some repair maintenance of uh, the end of the spinnaker pole which should be able to open to release the spinnaker now here is the nice architecture of the Sailors Restaurant Sandham. Nice roof design construction. And here are flags. Maybe they are sort of for a person or for a boat club or for a boat. Of, I would say half models painted on uh, fabric, Cutter 1885 and uh, Endeavour 1937. Yeah, I have the Ender Pearl from Oslo. Akkurat. <laughs> yeah. Det är uh, tävlingens största båt. 76 foot. I don't know what he saw on the mast. It was 45 or something. Meter. They were full full. They came somewhere on, I think, the seventh place in their class. So, the 22nd total. No sjöjukar. But in the hard weather, they had the sjöjukar over the sea. So, you can understand them. Båtarna som här, ett fribord som är, ja, ran för ex till exempel, den har väl ett fribord som är ingenting jämfört med det här, den har bara några fot. Ja, imponerande, ska, vi kan gå ner och titta för det från ett ögonblick här. Ja, här ser du Ender Pearl. Holmstrands segelförening, maybe it's called Sail for Rain. Yeah, an imposing boat, I think the freeboard here at the bow is about two meters. Oh, here is Ballad, one of the classic yachts. Here is High Q, the first boat to finish. A Volvo Ocean 65. I saw when I followed them at times, they were making 22 knots. I think they have a swing keel which gives them extra speed. The boat is pretty level and which gives speed. So I'm going still faster in the real strong wind if they had some downwind there. Let's go to the bow. And try to sit boat uh, today. Going out and in, we're about to steer back around 4 o'clock so you can get off about, about 4.30. So everybody is able to, to take the help for, for 5 to 10 minutes. So make a moment if you want if there's time. Yeah, if you like. The second thing we need your help for, because we have to push the sails, is to use these grinders. We are using those to operate all the winches. 
they're actually one of the main things we need, we need to do to avoid the bolt. And see who's going to start is the pit. The pit is the place where all the lights come out in the, in the cockpit. And he will explain a little bit how the grinding is working and what kind of commandos we're using. So you know exactly what we are expecting from you when something goes to the less good or when you make a mistake or, or how to operate. Here is one of the center boards, very narrow. Here is the bow. This is another impressive, impressive bow. I think they have some people on board, uh, sort of amateurs, and we'll take them for a sail. They said they were going to maybe steer a bit. Yeah, fantastic boats, the Volvo Ocean 65s. I think they're preparing to hoist the main, the man the winches and put them in first gear. The gear change button is apparently at the bottom of the pedestal. I haven't sailed any one of these big ones. Uh, the biggest, I think, is uh, 37 feet. That would be no pedestals, that would be just an ordinary. Okay, let's try. And don't start too quick, okay? Because they will, can't handle it on the boat, so just medium tempo. Yeah? Right, in first gear, and right. Now it's the head sail coming up. Now look, we've got six winches here. This is not the heavy work. I think this lad is going to attach the top of the main to the car on the mast. It's all heavy stuff. He's using a ribbon there, yeah, look. To winch it in. Not in the roaring 40s or what is it? And you couldn't do this. Here is practically no wind. Uh, they're preparing to leave. They haven't got the main in place. So I heard some noise up there. Not yet, no. Here you see the size of the bow.
Now one lady is missing his, his sleigh, he said, come on board. <laughs> Everybody is on board. They shall not yet fix the top. Now heading out on the open sea. Oh, they're heading upwind here to make it easier to get the top of the mainsail attached to its car, which they can hoist the main.